In this video, we're going to tell you how we got out of almost six figures of debt in two years because we wanted to live in a van. So for us, our goal was full-time travel in the van, and there's a lot of different lifestyles out there. If you don't want to full-time travel, you don't want to do van life, that's fine. But whatever you want to do, these tips can be applied to whatever life that you want to live. This is something that we saved for, something that we intentionally spent all of our money to do. No matter your financial circumstances, you can make it happen if it's what you really want to do. Today's a normal day. We wanted to get a video in, but we're also very hungry and our fans on. So if the audio sucks and you're hearing some chopping in the background, that's because we live a full and complete life in this van. We're also in Florida, it's hot, it's muggy, and I'm afraid if we turn this fan off, we may melt. We may melt. We may melt. I guess we should just start at the beginning. So I wanted to do van life five years ago before I even met Matt and started saving up money to do so. In the same breath, I also had a lot of student loan debt, which I was casually paying back and casually saving up for van life, so it wasn't on the top of my list. For me, paying off my student loans was the most important part of that part of my life. I graduated college with about $33,000 of student loans. Um, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into when I got into college about the whole debt loan situation. Um, it's something I should have understood better, but I didn't. So I took it upon myself to get rid of that debt as soon as I possibly could. It wasn't until I met Matt and we started planning for the future that I decided to put all of my money that I was saving for the van into my student loan so that we could start off in a van debt free and that was the goal and we did that. After all is said and done, I paid off $66,000 worth of debt at the end of the day. This was two cars, some credit card debt and some student loan debt so I was really in it. So in order for me to pay off my student loans, I knew I had to get on a budget. I didn't follow any guidelines or whatever. I just knew that my income had to be more than what my expenses were. So at the time I was living with, at home at my dad's house and then I moved into my mom's house. So my rent was very low. I made a lot of sacrifices. I didn't go out with my friends that often. Uh, I ended up not going to one of my friend's weddings. There was a whole lot of things that I did that, made that I made sacrifices for in order to get to paying off my student loans. Even though I had more debt, I was actually the budgeter of us two and I held us both accountable to this budget and it was small. Like our grocery budget was $50 each person a week and we stuck to that and dining out was pretty much nothing. We spent no money on any consumer goods, anything like that. We never went on a vacation together until after we paid off our debt. Well, you just don't consider camping vacation. Camping's not a vacation. I think camping's vacation. Camping's camping. We hadn't gone on vacation together. We specifically didn't book vacations because we knew that was a big expense. Like, vacations cost a lot of money. So we didn't do that. We just stuck to it. It was so hard. I cried many times because I wanted to be a regular relationship that did things together and like went out and like had dinner and things like that. But you know what? At the end of the day, our goals were aligned and it was the perfect recipe for us to get out of debt and then we can enjoy life later. And that's what we're doing in the van. So one way that I was able to pay off my loans so fast is I worked uh, labor jobs where I worked a lot of overtime. So I was working probably 50 to 60 hours a week at my regular job. And then on the weekends, I did tons of side hustles like mowing lawns, random handyman odd jobs, like putting together furniture for old people, stuff like that. Just, I was really open-minded. I went on Craigslist a lot to to see what kind of opportunities were out there. And I just made it a priority that all of my spare time, well, I'm not gonna say all, because I did do some stuff. And I did enjoy my life. I didn't just fully solely focus on paying off my loans, but that was the main thing. I made that commitment to paying off my loans before I turned 30 and I paid it off before my 28th birthday. My final birthday present to myself was paying off my student loans. And Matt paid off his student loans, I would say a year before I paid off all of my student loans. The best part about doing it together was that we were accountability partners. So when one of us really wanted to go out to eat, the other one really kept it in check for us. And although it was tough, although we sometimes felt like we were just 
you know, pushing the grain, pushing paper so that we could pay off these loans. We knew that like the way we felt afterwards was going to be so great. And actually that year that Matt was out of debt and I was not out of debt, Matt spent that time saving up for a ring for me because we also decided that we wouldn't get engaged even though we wanted to. We wouldn't get engaged until we were both out of debt. And I think we kind of knew early on that we'd be together for a long time, all of our values aligned. And we started talking about money really early. Really early. Like, really early. Let me tell you, when Matt asked me to be his girlfriend and I went over his house the next time, we brought out our Excel spreadsheets, we looked at our money, we looked at our debt, and we looked at how much we had saved because we were dreamers right we like wanted to do van life we wanted to invest in real estate we wanted to go on these sick vacations and things like that and we dreamed about all of those things but how are we going to get from point a to point b because we were both in debt and how am i going to make the rest of this food without having any more smoked paprika so one thing also that i want to really mention to you guys about is this thing called lifestyle creep that's basically when you start making more money your expenses and the amount of money that you spend rises with it so your income goes up but your expenses and lifestyle also go up. That's called lifestyle creep. What we did, and I'm really proud of us for doing, is we started making more money, but our expenses and our lifestyle stayed about the same. So I was driving a 2005 Hyundai Sonata for several years, and there's nothing sexy about that car. I really, 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 really wanted a Toyota Tacoma, and there was a few times that I was at the dealership and I was about to pull the trigger. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take out a car loan. And I am glad that I didn't because that would have just been another payment that was probably as much if not more than my student loan payment. And every time that I got close to putting down that down payment, I took all of that money and I put it towards my student loans. Do you guys know how much Tacomas cost? A lot of money. They cost just about as much as the van costs. I think they cost more than the van costs. More than the van. So something that we learned from this whole thing is that we don't want to be in debt. We don't want to be in debt at all. And our van helps us get us there. And when we started to plan for the van, we saved up 30K and that was our big goal when we paid off our debt. Once we got that 30K, we started looking for vans. We paid for the van in full, in cash. And then as Matt was building the van, we paid for all of the things within the build as we went and by the time we left home we were completely debt free and our home was paid for we own it it's the best feeling ever so our expenses are low we don't have that additional looming student loan debt i know a lot of people sometimes go to defer their payments or they go on an income based repayment when they hit the road some people have asked us like oh why didn't you just wait for them to write it off well we just didn't want to gamble on whether or not that was going to happen or not so we chose to pay off our debt. We worked our asses off. We made it a full commitment to get it done and now we're able to live a lifestyle where we have no debt and I don't see us having any debt anytime soon. Let's normalize talking about money. Because it's important and everyone needs to pay attention to their money, but not everyone has had the same education on personal finances. Uh, we are self-taught and if you want to do something like van life or you want to save for a house, you want to save for your dream car, whatever it is, there are always ways for you to get there without financial stress. So if you like these videos, if you like talking about money, um, and if you like listening to us talk about money, comment below, uh, share your story, and let us know if you want to see more videos like this. Yep. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, say hi to us. See how pretty Megan looks today with this awesome lighting. Shout out to Florida. It's friggin' hot here, but we're loving it. Yeah, it's not a glow, it's sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to cooking. All right. about to burn. See you on the next one.